Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Amazing Animals Inc. Today we are at Palm, Palm Beach Zoo. Zoo. We're taking a little vacation. Uh, we got uh, Siobhan at home doing the animals yep. and uh, we are down here at West Palm. It's gorgeous, it's beautiful. Um, it's in February and it's gonna be like 85 today, so it's really nice. It's March now. It's March, it's, it's March. March. Now. But yes, always gotta see animal places. We haven't been to Palm Beach Zoo, so we're really excited to check it out. Probably gonna see a couple other animal places. Lots of fun animal stuff down in South Florida. So yeah. we're gonna have a fun little vacation. Here we go. All right, so we are here in the Florida wetlands section and it's like a beautiful swampy marsh and uh, they have a panther, they have they otters, the they have bears, they have alligators. So we are gonna go check out some of our native Florida wildlife. All right, so there's a beautiful Florida panther right behind us here. They've got an awesome exhibit, um, really cool windows, a nice little building over here, and they've actually got a bridge. We saw her go across the bridge, a couple different areas of her habitat, and it looks like by the signage, there's actually two sisters that were um, found as cubs, little kittens, too young, away from their mom. Biologists had to step in, and unfortunately, they never learned those important hunting skills for mom, so they are unable to be returned to the wild. And man, they've got an amazing setup here. I am loving this. Very active. She had little zoomies playing. Uh, so it's always fun to come to the zoos first thing in the morning and really see the cats up and active. So behind me here is Marty, a leucistic alligator. In Louisiana, in 1987, a fisherman in the bayou found 22 white alligators and they caught them all and they're all in zoos. There are over 5 million alligators in the world today and only about 15 of them left are these leucistic alligators. They're all in zoological facilities. Nobody knows why or how this has happened, but it's amazing. They're so beautiful. Our friends at Gatorland have some as well. They're so cool. They're not albino. Leucistic, just lacking pigment. They have a little bit of brown spots on their nose. Super cool, beautiful, big alligators. They need to be indoors here because the sun will actually really hurt them. Uh, they could get burnt by the sun really easily. So there's only about 15 of them left in the world today and they were found in the wild in 1987. Jaguar right behind me. This is the largest cat in the Americas and these guys have the strongest bite force of any cat. So they've got some pretty impressive canine teeth and they're one of their favorite meals in the wild are capybaras. So very impressive cats can drag things right up trees. Um, very arboreal and beautiful rosetted spots. I love these guys. All right, so we are here right in front of the Komodo dragon exhibit. Definitely one of my favorite lizard species. The largest lizard in the world. These guys get over 300 pounds. They're from little islands all throughout Indonesia and uh, they're so big. They can take down a water buffalo. A water buffalo, a lizard can take down a water buffalo. Huge, amazing, beautiful looking dinosaur. I absolutely love Komodo dragons. Tiger exhibit right behind me here. We've got a little cub. I guess uh, they had two 
two cubs. I'm not exactly sure how old they are, but they're definitely younger. And uh, this is actually a mask on zone because tigers have been affected by COVID. So there's been some zoos that they've actually gotten COVID. So you want to be safe, especially around, you know, the animals as well. So we have our masks on so that we're not, you know, having any sort of uh, cross contamination going on and making sure all the animals stay safe as well. Um, so really adorable. I think the other other baby and mom are over this way. Uh, love seeing them. They're just relaxing, enjoying their day. So we got some lemur islands right behind us here and I absolutely love lemurs. You know, they're from Madagascar and there's about 54 species of lemurs and they're almost all endangered or critically endangered. And it's so cool that primates will not go in the water here. So they use the water moats to help keep the lemurs on the islands, but there's beautiful. There's some ringtail lemurs on this side and some red ruff lemurs over there. Absolutely wonderful exhibits. Love it. It's so peaceful and quiet. I could just sit here all day. It is beautiful out. So right behind me here is Wilbur, and Wilbur is the zoo's two-toed sloth. And um, what's really cool about him is we tell everyone in our tours, you know, there are two different types of two-toed sloths. We have at Amazing Animals the Linnaeus two-toed sloth, and these guys are the Hoffman's two-toed sloth. So different species, um, kind of cousins to one another. So there's two different types of two-toed sloth, and they have the different one here at the zoo. So pretty cool, Hoffman's two-toed sloth. All right, well, that was a lot of fun today. We're right here in front of the Lorikeet Aviary. It's closed due to COVID, but uh, hopefully soon they'll get to be opened back up. You can go in there and feed some awesome little Lorikeets. Yeah, such a beautiful zoo. Really impressed, um, beautiful exhibits. Really, we love the, the rainforest, you know, lush. Yeah, very tropical. Of, yes. uh, down here in, in, when you get to this part of Florida, palm trees are plentiful and the banyan trees, I love the banyans. They offer so much shade. Um, February, March is a beautiful time oh, of month yeah. here in Florida. Perfect it's not job. hot, it's not cold. Um, it was just, it was, it was perfect. Yeah. Amazing day, beautiful little zoo. Took us, what, three, three and a half hours? Yeah, yeah, and I, my favorite thing was, there was the jaguar who was watching, there's iguanas all over down here in South Florida, and there was an iguana on top of his exhibit, and he was trying to figure out how to get to that iguana. Yeah, <laughs> and you fun. can get really close. I mean, the yeah. jaguar was like, Eight feet away very from us active, so yeah. you can get super close to the animals uh, and it wasn't very crowded so there's not a lot of people bumping into you so nice area to come down to love it down here and uh we're gonna head back home time to take care of some more animals at home yeah as always guys go out there do, do something, something amazing. amazing the jaguar just noticed an iguana up at the top of his exhibit and he's trying hard to figure out how to get to him I know there's an iguana up there. <laughs> Did you see it? Oh yeah, I did see it. <laughs> <laughs> 